YouTube, it's your boy Wall Dog Twin D coming back here again with another video for the for this video. Make sure you guys leave a like on the comment down below and tell me what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, uh hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in and welcome to the dog channel. Uh you know, dog channel play channel. But anyway, um, if you guys want to check out my social media, it is in the bio. If you guys ever want to make a donation, it's in the bio too. I appreciate anything. I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel, man, and being here. You know, um, I appreciate all the love and the feedback that you guys give me. Um, I'm going to keep grinding, man. Uh, you see that I've been constantly posting videos. I'm trying to stay consistent, you know. Uh, guys, stay consistent. Uh, I want to keep growing up. I want to keep growing up. And I'm pretty sure you guys want to see me glow up. I want to see you guys glow up as well. <sighs> With that being said, let's get right into the video. So, uh, we have the Denver Broncos. Woo! What I want to say is Drew Locke is from, he's from Kansas City. Uh, I'm going to start it off by saying that. Drew Locke is from Kansas City. Uh, I'm proud to see a, a player, not even a player, a, a guy that, you know, that actually came from a city that we're in. You know, it's rare to see that uh, the Denver Broncos picked him up from Mizzou. You know, if I was watching Drew Locke in Mizzou, I actually went to the game and watched Drew Locke play, you know, in Columbia. It, it was a great feeling, you know, uh, a great experience. And um, I, I enjoy watching Drew Locke, man. Drew Locke, he's setting the tone for Kansas City players, you know. Um, very inspirational you know he's very not very inspirational but like, he inspires a lot of uh, a lot of people you know to go out there and chase their dreams because it can happen you know uh another guy shane ray shane ray's from kansas city too and he made it you know uh the guy he went he got picked up from the Denver broncos as well but right now he's currently a free agent the last i heard he was he tried out for the baltimore ravens uh i guess things didn't go too well uh still he's still in the market i know i feel like the team will pick him up very soon but yeah Anyway, Drew Block is the guy right now. I mean, he's hot, steamrolling teams. The Texans got demolished, but the Texans is inconsistent. As you know, you don't know what version you're gonna get of the Texans each week, so I'm not surprised. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> they they beat the Chargers. Uh, they 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 beat the Chargers by three. You know, it was a close game. You know, they got a pass interference call late in the game. <laughs> it was it was a crucial call and uh, set up a game winning field goal for Drew Block's first win. I watched that game. Great. Uh, I'm a big fan of Drew Locke, actually. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to be it's going to be a crazy game. Uh, it's his homecoming game. You know, he's coming back to the city. <laughs> and um, who else? Who else would you want to play? I'm, I'm pretty sure he won't want to play in the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm pretty sure he's a big fan of the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm pretty sure he want to be alongside of that. But <clears throat> Drew Locke is actually, he could actually be, be the, he's the, the franchise. He's gonna, I know he's going to be the franchise quarterback, you know, for that organization. Him. Uh, no offense, that tight end, that guy's beasty. Uh, and I guess I got another guy named Tim Patrick. I guess he's a rookie. Uh, them guys right there, they, they can be a big threat in the future. You know, I'm letting you guys know that. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on them. But um, <clears throat> anyway, like I said, uh, his homecoming is this Sunday. He will be back, and uh, he's facing the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the thing about the Kansas City Chiefs is that we're going to apply a lot of pressure. You know, last time we met up, I think it was like five turnovers that we caused. <laughs> And it, was, it wasn't looking too good. And Joe Flacco was behind that center. And he was behind that, you know, that steering wheel. And then things didn't go too good for him. And um, we're definitely going to be causing some problems. And our pass, our pass rush is crazy. We're going to get back there. And we're going to be pressuring you like all day. We know he has a rocket on him. And we got to put things down to a minimum. We have a great safety time, Matthew. Smart. But anyway, um... We're going to be setting up some schemes, and I'm pretty sure we're going to make some plays happen, and we're going to be we're going to cause turnovers, and I guarantee we will. It's going to be rough, and I, I know it is. You know, I know Drew, like, oh, I don't want to play, but you're going to have to play him. You're going to have to play him, but it's good, though, you know. I'm pretty sure Drew Locke is, is going to be out there. You know, um, I do expect Drew Locke to make some plays happen, of course. You know, uh, he wants to make a statement, you know, that, that the Denver Broncos, they're there. They're not, they're not stepping down from a, a fight. And I do expect this game to be a fight. It is a, a division game. You know, uh, of course, the rivals. It's a division game. But it doesn't matter because we already got the AFC West. So it's basically like a little exhibit, exhibition game, whatever. But at the end of the day, though, this game matters to the Kansas City Chiefs because even in it matters to the Denver Broncos, too, as well, because they're still in the playoff point. Every game matters for the Kansas City Chiefs because we're still fighting for the number two seed. We can still get this two seed if we win out all our games. Um, but there's only one thing, there's only one little thing to that. The Patriots have to lose 
a game. Uh, the game that I see the Patriots losing out of the, uh, the last three games is to the Bills. The Bills have to do us a favor. They have to. They have to do the Chiefs a big favor. They have to win out. They have to beat the Bills. They have to. They beat the Bills. We're good. You know what I'm saying? We're going up, and the Bills can possibly win out in that division. It's it's really crazy, man. It, it is the way these things are going. It's really crazy. It's gonna be a wild ending this come season. Um, this come ending season. Uh, but like I said, um. I do expect our defense to get out there and cause some mayhem. You know, uh, our offense as well. Our offense has not been playing up the par. We've been sent back and the offense has been, we've been chilling. You know, our offense has not been playing like we did last year. Put up some big, crazy numbers. But last year, our offense was, was bailing out our defense last year. Now, the shoot's on the other foot. The defense is bailing out our offense now. So, it's kind of like, you know, uh, let's let our defense go out there and handle that. We'll be all right. You know, we didn't build our defense out plenty of times, which is true. But at the same time, though, we do, you know, it'll make it much easier for the defense, for offense to come out with that same intensity like we did last year and put up them crazy numbers. But um, I do expect this game to not be close, though. I could can't see Chiefs to basically uh, put up a lot of points on the Denver Broncos. Um, I, uh, hey, that's what I expect. I, expect to, I mean, score for me will be 30-14. to 14. Chiefs went out. Um, I mean, it may be higher than that, um, but I don't for the game to be close. But uh, at the same time, though, no, you know, Drew Locke's been hot, so who knows, man? The game may be close, it may not be close. But like I said, this game matters to both teams because, like I said, uh, the Broncos is basically still in the hunt. They'll lose out, and their playoff hopes is gone. But at the same time, though, no, um, I'm pretty sure Drew Locke would have been causing some problems if he would have started in the beginning of the season. He's been hurt, and he's just not getting back in the rhythm. But like I said, man, um, you got the Chiefs. When you got the Chiefs in your division, it's going to be hard. But, uh, yeah, and another thing is, um, I mean, Patrick Mahomes has been doing good. Uh, he has some, I guess he has some going on with his hand. I'm I'm pretty sure he's going to be expected to play. Uh, Spencer Ware is still back. You know, still got Shady. Still got D-Train. You know, um our guys is definitely going to be causing some mayhem. Still got Tyreek, still got uh, McCole, Jet Harmon, the guys beast the rookie of the year. Travis, Travis, Kelsey, Killer Trav, and Demarcus Robinson. We got a whole bunch of playmakers, man. Um, like I said, man, uh, I don't think, and we, I know for a fact, I don't think they can keep up with us, you know. And this is the game. I mean, last time we played the Denver Broncos, it was a scary sight for Patrick Mahomes because he got hurt. But um, like I said, I do expect us to win, and um. I do expect Patrick Mahomes to get out there and get some little revenge from last time and put up some crazy numbers. Um, it's going to be a big game for us. But, um, yeah, like I said, we're fighting for number two seed. Patriots lose, we go up. That's all. That's it. That's all. You know, that's all, that's all I'm hoping for. The Ravens are not slowing down anytime soon. I was the number one seed, but the Ravens, is, like I said, they're not slowing down. So, uh, I don't see them losing. I don't see them losing. They play today, too. They play the Jets today. I don't see them losing. But, um... But yeah, man, that's, that's what I think. Patriots. Why, why do I keep saying Patriots? I'm thinking about that Patriots game, man. All the other thing, man, our defense. People keep throwing our defense under the bus. They don't want to give us props. It's okay. Because this come playoff time, our defense is going to show up and we're going to, we're going to shock the world. I feel like the Kansas City Chiefs, we have been under the radar way too long, man. People have a tendency of forgetting what we are, what we are capable of doing. And the thing that comes to people's mind is that, that, that rush. That, I mean, they can't stop the rush. That's the first thing that comes to people's mind about this Kansas City Chiefs defense. And um, like I said, and I'll say it again, we're going to shock the world. Uh, we've been limiting. We've been, ever since, I, I would say that, there was only one time or a couple times, I say two times, that uh, our rushing was not there. And that was against the Colts and that was against the Titans. That's it. You know, uh, other than that, we've been minimum it down, been dubbing it down. Uh, like I said, I feel like this Kansas City Chiefs defense will shock the world. You know, and we're gonna be we're gonna be showing that same intensity. That defense has been balling these last couple of weeks. They bailed us out without our defense. We don't beat the Patriots, and we don't beat a lot of teams. But anyway, uh, what you guys say, man? Um, so you worried about the Denver Broncos? I'm kind of concerned a little bit, but um, cause Drew Lock is hot. Kansas City Chiefs, not Kansas City Chiefs, but Kansas City player that came out of Lee Summit. You know. He's hot right now, and we got to slow him down, man. What do you think, man? You think the Kansas City Chiefs can get the job done? He's 2-0 and right now in the start. We can put that 2-1. I definitely think we can get the job done. That's what I think. 
you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. It's your boy, World 23 and Matcha. Peace. Hey, man, drop a like and comment down below. Like I said before, you know, um, show that feedback. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification so you guys will stay updated. Hey, I'm out here. Peace. Have a nice day.